Guided Meditation for Transcendence, Day 84. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is Day 84 out of 100 Days Meditation Challenge. I am so happy to have you here with us today. And it is great to meditate together, to feel all those positive energies, all these transformations even. I know that some of you guys told me that they really felt a transformation. More than that, that the people around them felt a transformation of your behavior, of your interactions, and of your general well-being, of your general mental and physical and spiritual and emotional well-being. So this is really cool. I'm very happy about this. If you're new on this channel, warm welcome. My name is Raphael. We do some meditations every single day together here. We also talk about practical personal development. And as we speak, I'm preparing a morning show series where every single morning we will be checking out some ancient and modern wisdom, applying everything that we learn, doing some visualizations and meditations and empowering affirmations and much more. So very excited about this. If this is interesting to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel and pushing the notification bell. Also, if you are new, you don't have to go back to day one. You can if you want to, of course. Uh, and if you want to just stay here and meditate with us today, day 84, you're most welcome to do so also. Before we start, I want to give a shout out of gratitude to our um, to our supporters on Patreon. As you guys know, I post content every single day here on the channel. Everything is for free and those donations really help me get going and I'm very, very grateful for them. So if you would like to participate also, I will link everything you need to know in the description to this video or in the show notes if you're listening to this on the podcast. Let's get started on today's episode. You guys know I like to give you a little quote before we get started. And today is by Viktor Frankl, an extraordinary person, survivor of the Holocaust, that wrote a really amazing book. And I want to quote something that he says that is familiar to what we've been talking about in the previous meditations, in the previous episodes. And he says, between stimulus and response, there is a space. And that space is our power to choose our response, right? So you have an event and there's no outcome that comes directly from the event. It is this, the response from that event that creates an outcome, right? Otherwise, all outcomes will be the same for everybody if we have the same event. And we know that that's not true, right? It's the way that you respond to that event that will create an outcome. This is what Jack Canfield in his book, The Success Principles, calls responsibility in two words, right? The ability to respond. And he's, he has this equation that says E plus R equal O, right? Event plus response equal outcome. And he also explains that to think that event equal outcome is a form of victimizing ourselves. And so let's read the quote one more time because it's beautifully said by Viktor Frankl, he says, between stimulus and response, there is a space, and that space is our power to choose our response. It is my hope also that these meditations train you and uh, give you a good practice to creating that space so that you can choose to respond the way you want to in every event that occurs in your life, whether it's positive or more challenging, right? So I like this quote. Let me know in the comments how you reflect on it, how this resonates with you. And on that note, let's start on today's meditation. Let's start by sitting nice and comfortably, either on a meditation pillow or on a chair, or directly on the floor if your posture allows you to. The important thing is that you can sit nice and tall, nice and straight, nice and proud, imagining this string going up from the top of your head, you know, making your whole spine well aligned and nice and tall. Your chin goes in a little bit, your chest goes out. You're not very proud. Let's start meditating with some nice deep breaths in through the nose, nice and slow. And out, releasing the air with our mouths with a slight sigh of relief. Let's do it a few more times. Inhaling through the nose, starting from the belly up to the chest and up to the mouth. And when you're full, release the air 
Remember that every exhalation is an opportunity for you to relax more and more and to get rid of tensions in your body. On the next exhalation, gently close your eyes. In a few moments, you will be greeted. You will get a nice vibration, a sound. And you will follow this sound, this vibration. You will put your focus gently and effortlessly on that vibration and put it on the foreground of your mind. This vibration will be our guide to transcendence, our guide beyond our current state of consciousness, beyond our own intelligence, beyond our ego, and beyond our concept of time, eliminating the past, eliminating the future, and enabling us to be fully present here and now, right now, right here, together in this deep trance guided meditation today. When you catch yourself thinking, this is perfectly fine. Don't judge yourself and don't judge the thought. Don't try to eliminate the thought either. Simply come back to the vibration, putting it back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the vibration fades out, continue reproducing it in your own mind, keeping it alive for a few moments.
now let go of the vibration. The meditation session is over. Whenever you feel ready, take your time. But whenever you feel ready, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And then the exhalation, gently open your eyes. Take some time for yourself here to get reacquainted to the sensations in your own body, starting with the extremities, the tip of your toes, the tip of your fingers, your feet, your hands. And also take some time to get reacquainted with the space around you, with your environment, noticing anything familiar, anything new, shapes, shadows, lights, but also smells and sounds. Really take your time here and whenever you're ready, you can go back to your daily activities, drink a nice glass of fresh water. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I'll leave you in peace. If you've enjoyed this meditation, please do hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. I will see you tomorrow for day 85 of this 100 days meditation challenge. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.